When the most powerful backroom man in Westminster is in a hurry, people want to know why. Here, Dominic Cummings scurrying out of Downing Street four days after Boris Johnson told the nation to stay at home to save lives. Where he went next and why could have big implications for the government. This evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. You should not be meeting friends. If your friends ask you to meet, you should say no. You should not be meeting family members who do not live in your home. Mr Cummings was seen rushing from Downing Street on March the 27th after it was announced that Boris Johnson and Matt Hancock had tested positive for coronavirus. Downing Street said he developed symptoms over the weekend of the 28th and 29th of March. On Tuesday, March the 31st, Durham Police received a report that an individual had travelled from London to Durham and officers made contact with him. The Guardian is also reporting that a witness saw Mr Cummings at the grounds of his parents' home near Durham with a young child on April the 5th, less than seven days after displaying symptoms. He was photographed in Downing Street just over a week later. Durham police said later they had contacted his family to remind them of the rules on self-isolation and unnecessary travel, stopping short of quite saying the PM's chief adviser had broken them. But Labour want answers. The British people do not expect there to be one rule for them and another rule for Dominic Cummings. Number 10 need to provide a very swift explanation for his actions. It's hard to overstate just how central Dominic Cummings is to Boris Johnson's government and has been from the moment both men walked in to number 10 last summer. Whether you're an ally or a foe or even just a Whitehall bystander, all say that Cummings is absolutely central to operations where he directs, he interferes, even on occasion intimidates. So don't expect decisions to be taken lightly even though the involvement of the police means this is a serious charge. Morning, Mr Cummings. Opposition suggesting a resignation may be in order. If it's true that Dominic Cummings has breached these guidelines, he should resign. If he doesn't resign, he should be sacked. At a time when millions of people are really making significant sacrifices in order to stick to the rules, it seems that Dominic Cummings has gone halfway across England um, uh, when he was symptomatic. So I think an awful lot of people will be incredibly shocked that he did this and Boris Johnson needs to sack him. Downing Street has not officially responded to the story. But they seem set to argue Dominic Cummings and his wife were so ill they needed their child to be cared for by grandparents. Number 10 appear to want to tough it out. Sam Coates, Sky News.